hanging at me and we're in my little Chevy S10 and there's like 20 people standing around that, you know, it was stupid. And they're all pounding on the windows and I'm like, you know, I'm starting the truck, I'm going to run you over, but I couldn't do anything because she kept hitting me. So I went to, you know, push her against the back of the window and I went like this and my thumb went right in her mouth and she bit down and I went ow and I pulled my hand out and she had my thumbnail in her friggin teeth and she spits it out into my face with blood I'm like ah you stupid <laughs> so then I just put it in gear and took off and we were just we're fighting all the way from wherever we were to Burbank and I snuck into my trailer that we had in the backyard and I said you're not sleeping here I don't know where you you know I'm not taking you home because you live too far away F you you're sitting out here and she did she slept in the backyard and I slept in the trailer and I had bruises and cuts all over me and she had bruises and cuts all over her but she's out there smoking a cigarette and my mom comes out and starts hanging clothes on the line she's like and because my mom still does that she still hangs clothes She's like, who are you? She's, oh, I'm with your son. She goes, well, why do you look like that? Oh, your son beat me up. What? Oh, great. So now, knock, 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 knock. I'm like, who is it? Get the hell out of here. It's your mother. Oh, shit. So I'm like, what, ma? All hung over and beat up. She's like, you don't hit girls. I'm like, wait a minute. She's a psycho bitch. She attacked me. She thought I was screwing girls and so she you know kissed Trey and freaked him out and you know that's not cool so you know if there was a couple of hits I got in I got in hey, hey, hey. but she beat the crap out of me and she bit my thumbnail off and she's like both of you are crazy whoever she lives take her home now and I'm like oh no so whatever okay and because it, it was only like nine in the morning I'm like yeah please I only got like three or four hours sleep so, you know, I went to get a 12-pack. I drove her mostly home. I dropped her off at the exit of, you know, whatever, Whittier. And I said, bye, bitch. And I pushed her out of the truck, and she called me two days later. And like I said, we dated for six, seven more years. Stupid. But with the creature thing, here's how creature works in. So creature keeps copying whatever I do, which is fine kind of a flattering thing so growly boy went to screamy boy and i remember i always hated the singer from that band so there was started to become a rivalry and they got rid of tricks so now i really didn't like him at all i mean the drummer's a nice guy but i really don't know him that well i did know i've known tricks since elementary school and his brother so i'm like now the gloves are off screw you guys because He's not even in the band. You're an idiot. So F you. Blah, 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 blah. So my dumbass girlfriend, Hair Pie, she knows that all she's got to do is get close to that singer and I'm going to be pissed. So we're backstage and I'm talking to I don't know who because I was kind of lit up. And I'd already... I was bad. I, I was bad. I'd already hit on a one of the waitresses there and the waitress is like you know uh, you know let's hook up i'm like oh i'm here with somebody she's like oh well here follow me and she took me into this room like a storage room and and then we left came out and uh apparently that didn't escape the eye of my girlfriend which i i didn't even know where she went so she said nothing we went backstage and she had this in her head because she knew that I hated that guy. So she went up to him and kissed him. I'm like, hey, bitch! And everybody's like, silent. I go, what are you doing? She turns around. She's got black all over her face. I'm like, you fucking... And so I run towards her. She's running towards me. And rah, we start fighting. And they're like, whoa, people are trying to break us apart. And Mike... The bouncer comes up, she's like, no, you two, and he grabs us both and pulls us and throws us down the stairs because <laughs> we're in, you know, backstage up or there, and we both 
you know, go falling down the stairs, but we're still hitting each other. He goes, you, no, this isn't going to happen. He goes, I like you too. Because by then it had been about six months that we have been going together. So I knew the drill. She's crazy. She's crazy hot. So he throws us out of the club. He's like, dude, you guys go sleep this off. You guys are both way too drunk. And what did you do that for? Look at you. And he's wiping the stuff off her face. So we go up to my truck and we're just brawling. Like brawling. Like two dudes. And... I don't understand how this girl has the power, but then again, I was, you know, 150 pound, six foot four weakling with long nails, and I was a vampire now, so, but the, you know, that wasn't working. So, we're fighting for like apparently two hours. And the cops come and they're like, we got reports of you guys fighting, you've been fighting and cussing and screaming, so what's the deal? He beat me up. You hit her? I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. She, wait. So I told the whole story. He's like, oh, my God. And he looks at the other cop, and they're like, this is a lot of paperwork. I'm like, and he's like, yeah. I'm like, look, it, you don't need to take, he goes, look, it, either you guys say that everything's cool and drop, drop it right now and leave. And, we, I, you know, I was totally buzzed, but eh, not as much because it had been, three hours of brawling with no booze or anything. So I wasn't as buzzed. But back then in the 80s, they would let you go. How many beers you had? Just a couple. Really? Okay, you seem all right. Bye. Go home. Go straight home. That happened a lot. So, or, or one guy, one cop, he's like, get out. And I was all, you know, makeup, and he thought I was, you know, gay. And he's like, what are you, a girl? I go, no. I'm, uh, I'm in a band. It's a look. He goes, it's a gay look. Now, this is the cop that said that. A, a North, a West Hollywood cop. He goes, okay, uh, you've been drinking? I go, yeah, just like a beer or two. He goes, oh, so that means like a 12-pack. I'm like, wouldn't matter because I can hold my alcohol. He goes, can you hold your wallet? I go, sure. And he threw it in the gutter, you know, in the drainage thing. He goes, can you hold it now? I'm like, dick! He goes, have a nice night. And he gets in his car and leaves. I'm like, the hell was that? So, but at least I didn't go to jail. Okay, so back to the fighting with uh, her because she knew that if she even got near Billy B. Dickhead, that he, so all, from then on, he claimed that he had had, you know, yeah, I was too busy banging your girlfriend. He never banged any of my girlfriends. He might have gotten to the girl that was doing the acting for us on stage in Fatal Attraction. Because she really wasn't anybody's girlfriend. And she was with a lot of people. A lot. So, uh, there you go. I guess I'm done. So this is part one. I didn't get to really say anything. <laughs> When a dick walks in, throw a ball at it, because, no, that didn't make sense. That's it for now. Maybe I'll continue. If you want me to continue this story, comment. If you don't, don't. Later. Comment and subscribe.